I had a pretty good winter break. I uh, I crashed a Mustang. Yeah, we crashed this Mustang into a tree. It's not looking good for us. I got hit in the head real hard. <laughs> and I spent uh, way too much time inside of LEGO Fortnite trying to beat the game without attacking anything. There's a couple of asterisks in that title that I should address. The biggest one obviously being how do you beat LEGO Fortnite? The game doesn't really have an end. Well, I've created three major goals for myself that constitute as beating the game. The first is I need to have a fully upgraded crafting bench capable of making every tier of tool. The second is I need not just one, but three fully upgraded villages, one for each unique biome. And finally, the big goal is I need to find a way to defeat one of every hostile mob without ever attacking it myself. And yes, this includes the brutes. Right. Watch out, Cam, Cam. <laughs> uh, I was trying to do that. I want, I want to be right in front of them. Already playing this game can be a chore, so I knew I had my work cut out for me. In the first session, I started out with the basics, a small shelter, a crafting bench, and I even found a, a llama. I also started building up the grasslands village first, as it is the easiest to fully level up. Once night fell, I knew it was prime time to start collecting some mob drops, most of which are required for progression. Now, as the rules dictate, I am not able to deal any damage to these mobs. I can't shoot them with a bow, punch them, or even throw dynamite. This means we have to get a little bit creative. I tried to bait the first two wolves I found into attacking each other, but I quickly learned that two mobs of the same type can't hurt each other, with the only exception being rollers, but we'll get to that later. Anyways, to get our first few claws, I just had one follow me into a group of skeletons and get beat to death. Bones were a little bit harder to get as skeletons always travel in groups, but before I knew it, within just a few short days, I had shelter, bones, claws, and even a roller shell after I baited some random NPCs into fighting it. Also, I, uh, I might have died at one point, but that's not really important. <coughs> Things were going really well. The grind for drops sucked and it was only about to get worse, but we were getting a steady flow of early game materials, enough to start heading into the caves. The caves were easily the worst part of this challenge. The only mobs that spawn in caves are skeletons, and a whole lot of them. Sometimes the occasional roller will spawn, and very, very rarely a wolf or two, but it's mostly just skeletons. These guys don't deal damage to each other, can throw rocks at me from super far away, and are a complete nuisance. Not to mention corn was kind of my only food I had access to, mainly because I had no reliable way to get meat. It wasn't a poor food source, but I wasn't able to get the benefit of extra hearts or status effects quite yet. Anyways, on my way back home after collecting some knot root and marble, I had a genius idea. I came across a camp of these guys and thought to myself, if I can keep these dudes alive until nighttime, I can probably get a ton of bones out of it. Bones I need for my next set of tools. So I sat here on the roof of this cabin and kept their aggro on me for a long, long time. In just a few long minutes, the sun set and I went out with my new group of guys to hunt for bones. What's the expression? The, uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Keep your friends close, but the, uh, the Fortnite NPCs closer? <laughs> what I wouldn't give for- Okay, so the plan didn't go too well. They could only go a set distance from their base, which meant I had to lure enemies to them. This worked a lot better though, and I got just the right amount of bones I was looking for, along with some more claws. I made it back home and started working on making the next tier of tools from the knot root I had gathered. I had just hit village level 4, which meant I had a new villager moving in with me, Spark Plug. Some of you might find this a bit controversial, but I am not going to be abusing the NPC's ability to kill stuff for me. This makes the challenge less of a challenge and more just boring. So in order for my parameters to be met, I have to be the one to defeat the enemy, not my follower. I'm fine using the follower to grind out extra drops from enemies I've killed on my own already, but I have to be able to defeat them on my own first before I let my partner in too. This makes the follower more of a time saver than a cheat. I'm also not going to be crafting them any kind of weapon. If I find one in a chest, that's fair game, but I won't be making one myself. If you have an issue with this, just know that it is genuinely easier and faster to make two enemies fight than to try and stay safe behind your follower. The AI is just insanely stupid. I headed back to the caves to get more marble and knot root before starting construction on a new building for the village. I wasn't really sure what I needed to do in order for the improve your village rating tab in the upgrade menu to be full, so I decided I would just start building all the new stuff I get. I made a tower, a wall, and even a full home, which I thought might not be bad to move into considering I'm still living in a, a shack, but we'll get to that in a moment. At this point, I didn't really have an excuse to avoid the desert for much longer, 
so I made a couple of health charms and went on my way. The next material we needed for upgrades was flexwood and amber, both of which are found on the desert surface. On top of that, I was able to bait two wolves into attacking a roller, which unfortunately decided that death was better than living, and walked uh, directly into the water, dying on its own accord. Something I haven't mentioned yet is that if an enemy touches water, it dies instantly. It's really hard to make this happen with wolves or skeletons, but you can pretty easily bait rollers into rolling straight into it, saving me a lot of headache. In older patches, this worked on brutes as well, but I was playing on the most recent update, which yes, also patched the, uh, the chest durability glitch, <sighs> making my playthrough so much longer. When I got what I needed from this first trip, I came back home to make some more utilities, like a gem cutter, and continued to upgrade my village. I also finally had enough resources to get my bench upgraded, using the shells and claws I had gotten from the desert. This gave me my next possible set of tools made from flexwood, and opened up my options to explore the desert caves. The desert caves, if you would believe it, are uh, super hot, and without some kind of status effect to cool me down, I wouldn't be surviving in there for long. I ended up making a juicer for snowberry shakes, and I really wanted to make a cool-headed charm as well before heading down, but both would require some materials from the Frostlands, an even harder area to go to. Though I did already have a food that gave me cold resistance, and it would really make my time in the desert a lot more bearable. So what's the worst that can happen? As scared as I was to do this minor out of sequencing, I ended up taking down an entire camp thanks to a stray wolf and my follower, and got my hands on some even more rare materials, like ice shells, claws, and a longsword. Sure, the enemies did a lot more damage, and death would mean having to walk nearly 20 minutes back north just to reclaim my stuff. Alright, I've, uh, I've been humbled. One snowberry shake lasts for 10 minutes, which was more than enough time to gather all the copper I needed for progression. There was just one issue though. Well, uh, several actually. This was as far as I had ever made it into the game, so progression-wise, I didn't know all that I needed. I skipped over collecting ruby and bright cores, thinking them to just be aesthetic, and didn't bother searching for blast cores at all because I had no idea they even existed. On top of all of that, this is where the no attacking rule hit the hardest. There are so many godforsaken enemies in these caves. Enemies that throw rocks, enemies that can throw dynamite, enemies that have weapons. One hit from any dynamite killed my follower instantly, so I would usually have to spend about two minutes running back and forth trying not to die until they respawned, and then died immediately again. It was a pain. With the amount of times I was already spending in these caves, when I realized I had to go back and forth and back and forth for all the stuff that I missed, I just about lost it. To put it in perspective how tedious this grind was, I spent so long in my very first cave trying not to die to the endless mobs that I went through 20 minutes worth of shakes, got lost, and only had about 90 copper to show for it. On the bright side, I did learn that brute scales spawn in chests down here, which would help me craft late game gear before fighting them. Once I got back from that one singular cave, yes, that was just one cave, I got my village up to level 9 and prepared to get my final bench upgrade. There was just a, another issue though. I kept seeing that it required copper bars, and as far as I could tell, none of the machines I had access to could make copper bars. I checked all of my machines in my crafting menu, and none of them seemed like they could turn copper into copper bars. Well, as it turns out, that shiny yellow stuff near the lava was bright core, which I have to collect to unlock the recipe for the smelter. I was under the assumption that all of that stuff was just extra amber. Do you know how long it took for me to realize it wasn't just amber? An hour and 32 minutes. Aside from that, I had everything I needed to finally push my grass village to level 10, knocking off one third of the village parameters. Only problem is, I still had that pesky increase your village rating task. I suddenly recalled watching my friend Bixel do a LEGO Fortnite speedrun a month or so back, and remembered that he placed down a lot of crafting benches in that stream, and all the pieces finally connected. N no pun intended. On one hand, this cost me a lot of wood and stone, but on the other, I finally found a use for that house that I built a couple sessions back. Things were starting to fall into place. Besides the currently unresolved Brightcore issue we were having, everything was going swimmingly. The only difference I was noticing in this challenge versus a casual playthrough is that it was just annoying. Caving took twice as long and the food situation was much harder to manage. It makes me nervous for the future updates to LEGO Fortnite. If I can get this far by taking out a core mechanic of the game, you can tell there's not really enough to warrant this being a full game mode yet. 
Anyways, once I realized the error of my ways, I returned for the fourth time to a new desert cave, this time actually collecting the materials I was supposed to, creating a smelter for copper bars and getting my final bench upgrade. One third of my goals were now met, and it seemed like a good time to start on the desert village. So each biome has their own requirement for a level 10 village. The grasslands require not root, granite, marble, and all that kind of stuff. The desert one requires copper, obsidian, and ruby. The material grind was a lot, and the caving took legitimately too much space on my hard drive to record. I mean, I was down there for literal hours. Now, when I reveal my amazing level 10 desert village, you have to promise not to make fun of me, alright? Look, it's not the most homey place to live, but it gets the job done. As far as I was concerned, I was officially done with the desert for now. There was still one more monster I had to take down, but we'll get to that in a bit. Is he getting de-aggroed constantly? Dude, look at me! I'm right in front of you! For now, I started to run back to the Frostlands with my new tools I got from the bench upgrade, and chopped down an insane amount of trees. Turns out for this challenge, we barely needed any frost pine at all, but I was uh, not aware of that at this time. I started exploring the ice caves, making rollers and wolves fight each other over their remains, and found an absurd amount of chests. I mean, seriously, look at the sheer amount of loot I got. Like every other cave I entered had four or five chests available with the brute scales and wolf claws. It was insane. Yeah, the bone wolves did become a huge issue as they can two-shot me even with all my new charms and gear, but we made it out, with tons of iron and sapphire to our name. There was just one more material I needed, called malachite, that was found at the very top of the ice mountains throughout the world. I waited until I had enough stuff to make a glider and a grapple gun before going to farm for it, as it would make the process a whole lot easier. After a long, long journey away from home, I had collected just enough stuff to fully make my level 10 ice village. The cool thing about this village is you can see that I tried to make it a bit more organized, uh, opposed to the desert one, before giving up and spamming crafting benches uh, all over again. We had, at this point, completed two out of our three goals. We had three distinct level 10 villages, and we had a fully upgraded crafting bench, giving us access to every item in the game. There was just one last thing to do. Out of every hostile mob in the game, only three remain unbeaten. Throughout the journey, I had baited countless enemies into attacking each other, getting blown up or walking directly into water. But one mob type seemed too tough to take on alone. The Brute. We had three types of brutes to take down, and while I wasn't allowing myself to use a partner NPC, there were still some friends I wanted to call on to help take them down. First up, my neighbors Geo and Zach. Jesus, Ben, you got a harem here in your village. The only non-female villager I see is Peely, and you, well, know, you don't even know. Might... <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. It's Peely. What would that? Would that make them like non-binary or like? You know... Non-binary, Harry. Non-binary, <laughs> Dude, am I smoking it, Geo? How are you underground? Yeah, Geo, wait, where are you? <laughs> Dude, I'm really right by the chest. You're <laughs> you're underground. You're underground. <laughs> No, I'm right in front of you. I'm looking at you. You're under the ground. What are you talking about? I'm looking at you. I've got to go save Geo. So what's going to happen is I want one of you to take the aggro on it. I'm going to place down barrels and you got to kind of bait the guy to come and swing it at the barrels. You don't want to stand too far away though because he'll use his ranged attack and that will blow up the barrel and won't even be near it. He's got to like got do like the, the swing. Yeah, I got enough wood for the beds. Oh, there he is. There he is right there. Okay, he's uh, fighting a wolf. Him. He just he fucking killed the wolf, dude. All right, I got him. I got. I only got three. Wait, health, I gotta make the beds. So... I gotta make the beds. Boom. There's one, two. Mine. I'm out of wood. Oh, sh I gotta break a tree. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> no, I broke the bed. I was in. Okay, okay. Instantly. We gotta move away a little bit further away. Okay, I'm gonna start placing some barrels down. Okay, he is aggroed on you. Good. I'm gonna go like one right here. I'm gonna put two right here. If you can get them to kind of come your way and then like swipe at you right at these barrels. Don't make him do the range attack though. He might he might range it and then blow it up. Okay, wait, let's get a little closer. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come here, swing. Okay, back up, back up. Miss. Oh, oh that's half his health already. Sw swing, swing, swing. Okay, there we go. Another one. Coming back. Is he getting diagonal hey, hey, hey. constantly? Dude, look at me. I'm right in front of you. Oh, you just killed me. <laughs> I get... Okay, wait. Oh, he's on me. He's on me. He's on me. Wait, last Doesn't, one. Last like, one. Wouldn't throwing be equivalent to like... Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I'm getting my ass beat, though. One uh, more. Back. Right here, buddy. Right here. Come on. Come on. 
Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Where's my backpack? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Sand guy is down. He's dead. How much did I Oh, I used I so I used 10 barrels. Uh if we could go fight a regular brute. A few moments later. Oh, I've, oh wait, yeah. is that him? Hold on. It's him. I found him. I found him. I found him. Hey, big boy. Hey, big boy. Come on. It's too, it's too, like, it's not flat enough for me to place a barrel down. Right here. Right here. Right here. That's one. Uh-oh. Oh. Ow. But that is definitely the strat, though. Dude, hit this thing. There we go. Hey, one more. Right here. Right here. Okay, well Dude, I'm right here. Dude, I gotta push this thing over to him now. Don't hit him. Don't do it. Wait, what's he doing? He just, he's being an Man. asshole. He's Ooh, reminiscing in the water. He's Narcissus. Oh, he's mad. I don't want to fight you guys anymore. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. And <laughs> see ya, buddy. See ya. All right. I don't want to fight you guys anymore, actually. I'm scared. <laughs> How long did we walk? Dude, this has been like a... It's been like 20 minutes. Yeah, that was a 20-minute walk to find a single brute. Okay, that's awesome. Zack and Geo did their job admirably, but now knowing that the brutes could regenerate health when they de-aggro from me, which happens frequently, and how expensive it was to keep making these TNT barrels, I knew for the Frost Brute I would need to bring in some heavier hitters. So I messaged Jackie, Cam, and Mike to hop on to see just how much we could do. This yeah, game is like Lego Worlds if Lego Worlds is boring. <laughs> I mean, True. more boring than it usually hey, is. Lego Worlds has four players. I still don't believe you. I've never, I've, it has I've four never players seen online. anybody play with more than two. Because mm. only two people bought the game. <laughs> 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 Oh, Frostbrute, this way. Okay, let's put some beds down. We'll wait for everybody else. We've, we found a brute. I guess he's already just here. That's four beds. I want to sleep in this one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where are you guys? I have <laughs> Oh, no. Once this is done, I can finally put this game down and then spend another like 20 hours in the Lego Star Wars randomizer. Batman, but he's green and he has a weed leaf on his logo. And he's like, hello, grandma. I no. sell your <laughs> Oh, no, he saw me. He saw me. He saw me. What is he doing? I'm gonna bait him up to flat ground. This guy is, uh, he's unruly. He's kind of, he's kind of mad. I think he's stuck on your backpacks. Oh no, there we go. Oh, there's a wolf. I want the wolf to fight him. Oh, the wolf is hey, fighting like him. He, oh, he just bit him, yeah. Did oh, he... we have three HP. Oh, he just two shot the wolf. He's just chilling. What if you push the barrels at him while he's eating? Right I am pushing him, but I think he's... Okay, can you hit this? Watch out, Cam, Cam! <laughs> God, I was trying to do that. I want, I want to be right in front of him. I got a barrel in my hand. Hey, man, do you want to, like, hit me? I'm right in front of you. I almost punched him. Oh, God. Pick up the... Oh, no, 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 no. This is not going well. Oh, he's not even we going to get back me. on flat ground. Oh, yeah, I probably There we should. go. That should be one. I, I'm, I'm at nice. Nice. Okay, okay. That did good damage. Hello, I'm right in front of you. This is what I'm talking about. He just does this. Staring contest, go. Okay, wait. Hey, Barrels are behind him. Oh, oh, oh. oh there we go. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. Actually, hold on. Is he deaggered again? This guy's a yeah, pussy. He's just, he's what just is he chilling. doing? He's going away he's from flat usually, ground too. Man. He's a pacifist. <laughs> he's doing what I'm doing. He's like, oh, no oh, hit the players. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> Look, he's good. doing it again. I'll jump around. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> he's hey, so buddy. stupid. This is crazy. Oh, he's charging. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay, I, like, a couple more hits I and I think he's done. Cocky. I think one more might take him. Uh, okay, okay, this is like one of my. Okay. This is good. The He's deaggroed again. This game down. Dude, look at me. I'm right in front of you. Hey, hey. Wait, hit the roller. I want to hit the roller kill. This roller isn't even seeing us. Look, he's just chilling. He's not doing anything. I'm going to bait this guy into hitting the roller. This game works, guys. <laughs> okay, he hit the roller. Are they going to duke it out? Oh, they are. 
The roller might get him. Okay. No way. He no is way. Me. Come on, roller. Okay, wait. It works. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that. that roller. Yeah, that didn't work out for him like at oh. all. Ow. Okay. Oh wait, that's gonna do oh, it. I counted. Woo! Ooh, nice. All right. Good. I have I good have a work. lot to spare too. I can make uh like ten more barrels. Hmm. Oh, what's that? Uh, this this oh. is this is actually how you win Lego Fortnite. This is how you win. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took no damage. <laughs> it's also a perfect square.